G'day folks, it's Jimmy here from The Hard Rock Show with uh, this week's metal news. Let's go! Yes, so uh, this week's metal news. Um, I'm about a week behind uh, on this a little bit because um, last week I was busy, didn't get a chance to do any news, um, but uh, I'm back this week. Now, uh, this is my dog, of course. A lot of people didn't like uh, my dog snoring uh, on the last video. Apparently it was quite distracting. She's here again. Uh, her name is Bianca. She's here again, but uh, we'll see how she goes. At the moment, she's not snoring. That's because she's got her eyes open. We'll see how she how she goes this week. First cab off the rank this week, Mickey D. He of uh, Motorhead, Scorpions. Uh, he's a legend. Mickey D has teamed up with Briggs and Stratton lawnmowers to create a Motorhead lawnmower. This is amazing. What do, you, what do you get when you combine an international rock star, Mickey D, of Motorhead and Scorpions with a lawnmower powered by Briggs and Stratton? Well, we know the answer. A hell of a lawnmower, that's for sure. On a cold winter's day in 2019, I'm, uh, I'm reading, <laughs> I've got to stop laughing. Uh, Mickey D met with Briggs and Stratton, a uh, top-notch team to create a lawnmower of his dreams, a Motorhead mower. There is a video um, on YouTube uh, that you can look up with uh, Mickey. I'll put a couple of uh, little photo screenshots that I took of the uh, video while he was driving his lawnmower. It's very, very cool. Um, if you go and have a look at the video, I'll try and maybe put it in the comments or something if I can find it. Uh, you will see Mickey D uh, with his motorhead lawnmower riding around. It's a ride-on lawnmower, so I don't know whether it's going to be suitable for everybody. I don't know if they're going to go into mass production, uh, these motorhead lawnmowers, but pretty cool, I reckon. I'd love to get a motorhead lawnmower. I mean, look at it. Look at the front of that lawnmower. Very, very cool. So yes, that's a, a big news story of this week is Mickey D is branching out into motorhead lawnmowers. Next up, Jason Moama, who's uh, quite a popular actor. Um, he met Slayer and Anthrax, and it was a, uh, a childhood dream. Jason Moama, the hulking star of superhero film Aquaman, attended last night's concert, which is a while back when this came out, um, of, uh, by Slayer and Anthrax in Budapest, Hungary. For those who don't know, um, <clears throat> Jason Moama was in Game of Thrones. He was the big hulking, um, what was he? Dalthraki guy. Um, pretty scary. Uh, he loves heavy metal, apparently, which is a great thing. Um, he put up some photos on Instagram. Uh, it said, uh, one of the greatest shows of my life and described experience of hanging out backstage with the members of Slayer and Anthrax as a childhood dream. My mind was blown meeting your idols and they're fucking amazing. So thankful, so grateful. So yes, Jason Moana is a, Moama is a big metal head. And um, I know that a lot of ladies out there like Jason Moama, they think he's a bit of a hunk. Well, if you're into heavy metal, and you like Jason Moama, he's your man. Maybe he should go to the top of your uh, hall pass list, if you know what I mean. Next up, Vinny Vincent breaks his silence and drops a music bomb to his fans. Vinny Vincent, the ex-Kiss guitarist, uh, of course, who was in Kiss for five minutes and wore the, uh, what do they call it? I can't remember what the name of his makeup was. But anyway, uh, yeah, so um, Vin to all Vinnie Vincent fans, this is my st statement straight and from the heart. When Steve came to me with the idea of celebrating my birthday with the fans, I loved the idea right off. Euphoria and Legion have become a safe haven for true Vinnie Vincent fans. <sighs> God, what else? Uh, we live in a weird time when, new, when a few rejects from the wanna ride the coattails of Vinnie Vincent but got booted club post, well-crafted libelous slogans and appear in slimy podcasts to trigger misinformed, low information, Vinnie Vincent fans with lies, propaganda and fake news. 
I don't know what any of that means, but Vinnie Vincent, he keeps saying that he's gonna perform and uh, he keeps booking shows and then he keeps canceling shows. Um, Vinny, I don't know what's going on up here with Vinny, but um, he doesn't seem very happy. Anyway, I think he put a show up and he's canceled again. So why do we bother anymore with Vinny? I don't know. Next up, new Static X singer will perform in the spirit of what Wayne Static's vibe and energy was. Static X bassist Tony Campos says that the vocalist who will wear a mask in the likeness of the late frontman Wayne Static during the band's upcoming reunion tour is a perfectionist who will do the performance in the spirit of what Wayne's vibe and energy was. I'm not a Static X fan, never have been, um, but it's, uh, it's an interesting story because they're keeping this, well, is it interesting? I don't know, I put it in here anyway. Um, this guy, who apparently no one knows who he is, is gonna wear a mask that looks like Wayne Static from Static X, and he's gonna basically play the role of Wayne Static. Uh, no one really knows who he is, but they think that he is a guy from a band called Dope, and his name is Edsel Dope. Um, apparently Static X and Dope are touring together, and um, the guy's gonna pull double duty and do his Dope thing, <laughs> and then, dress up with a mask of Wayne Static and do the Static X thing. If you're into that sort of stuff, then good on you. Go to the show and uh, have a great time. But um, I've got no idea what's going on uh, with any of, <laughs> of this sort of stuff. Makes no sense to me. Why don't they just come out and say who he is, introduce him and I don't know. I don't. It's really freaky, this dead stuff. People, people um, you know, taking on the roles of dead people or holograms and all that. I don't get it. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and in the last piece of news today, of course, it would be uh, very remiss of me not to report on Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. He has announced uh, that he has throat cancer, um, which is obviously a terrible thing. Dave Mustaine, uh, love him or hate him, um, I don't think anyone would uh, would want to see Dave going through something, or anyone really, going through uh, something like that. So we wish uh, Dave Mustaine all the best. Hopefully he can uh, get through this and come out the other side uh, and keep going, because Dave Mustaine, like I say, like him or, or hate him, he has uh, been a massive contributor to heavy metal over many, many years, and uh, he's a legend, bona fide legend, and um, yeah, all the best to him. That's it for today's news. Uh, sorry to end on a bit of a somber note there with Dave Mustaine, but we know Dave Mustaine's tough and he will fight through and hopefully beat it. Um, yes, thank you for tuning into the news. Um, hopefully more news next week. Hope you enjoyed. Feedback always welcome. Drink up and rock on, all the rest of it. Hard rock show, blah, 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 woo, -woo and see ya. Hi there, just a quick little note to say thank you for watching this video and if you like what you saw here, please do subscribe and follow us on all of our social media channels. Love to have you along for the ride with all the things we do here at THRS. Uh, a quick little thank you as well to our Patreon supporters. You'll find their names on the screen somewhere right about now. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, we do appreciate it, it means the world to us. Uh, thanks for checking this one out and hope to see you in the next video. See you soon.